Hello. It's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another Monday evening chatting over cards. Chatting over cards. <laughs> uh, We're very chatty. Yeah. We love doing this. And we've got all kinds of new cards uh, from the brand new catalog. So if you don't have your catalog yet and you need one, just go to KarenTitus.com. There's free catalogs right across the top. Put your name in and I'll pop one in the mail to you. Tim, we'll pop one in the mail to you. I will. <laughs> and after just chatting with Karen all day, I, it's nice to have somebody else to chat with. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hopefully we're on. Haven't seen comments yet. But a um, couple of announcements. The new catalog goes live tomorrow. Uh, Bree, you're the first person here and that tells us it's working. So that is wonderful. <laughs> oh, good. They all come on now. That's wonderful. Um, tomorrow starts the new catalog. So if there's anything you're wanting out of the retiring catalog, you got to get it tonight. We're down to a few hours. Tomorrow, it's all the new catalog. And we do have a new pulse code. ZXXQCK2T. You can always find this by going to KarenTitus.com. And it's always just right there on the right. Um, but before you order tomorrow, just have a few announcements to do. The starter kit is amazing. For $99, they're adding another $30. You get to pick 155 of anything you want in the brand new catalog and no shipping and no obligation. So feel free to call me, 612-929-1277, tonight or tomorrow, anytime to talk about that. I just want you to think about that. And there's never any obligation for me, but I just want you to be aware of that before you order. There's also an ordering special. There's just a lot to cover tomorrow. And we're going to party tomorrow. We are. Did you know that, Tim? Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Have you got your projects planned? No. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. At 10, 1, and 6.30, right here, we will be doing some a new project with something out of the catalog. And you're invited to a Zoom call with the Titus family. Yeah, that's right. At 7.15. Right. It's just to pop by, but you know. Um, and we'll we're going to have, link. We're gonna have a couple drawings for each of the three uh, things. So anyway, they'll be, and you have the drawings will be tomorrow night at nine. So you have all day. If you work or something, you know, you, you people that have, you know, a real job, you, you, you have time to catch up and do it. But we'd better get started for it's all leak. I'll get going here. So swaps tonight are brought to you by the advisory board alumni group. You know, so many of you know that a long time ago, so this dates us. Stampin' Up! had an advisory board each year and they had like eight demonstrators be on it. So it was really fun to give feedback to the company and you know, a lot of us got to know each other. So a lot of these names, those of you, if you've been stamping a while, you recognize a lot of these names. So it's always fun. We still do our swaps and gets togethers. Ooh, and one last thing before we move on. My gift this month is a mystery box or a bag. And it's going to have all kinds of goodies in it when you place an order. I'm taking a break from doing the card kits because it's my birthday month. Yes. And we're going to Hawaii. To, and so I'm giving the gifts. So very excited about that. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful card from Colleen Magnus. Love it when people do the inside. And this is with the book binding we did recently. That's nice. And alive. It's really a lovely, lovely card. And this is such a great stamp set. These first few are hand penned petals. I can't show the inside of the catalog yet, not till tomorrow when it goes live, but this is so fun. So these cards are all from that. This next card is from Janice Waitman and she and I were on the board together. One thing I love about this card, do you notice she is stamped just directly on the designer series paper. So how cool is that? Oh, I love it. And you guys are talking and you're talking to each other. And I thought that's great. Uh, Gail, <laughs> Gail says she has a real job and she's on mandatory overtime the month of May. <laughs> I said, oh, um, yes. Well, I'm kind of taking part of this month off, but we are certainly celebrating every new catalog. So I'm just excited to share a bunch of things from there. So these are all from Hand Penned. Here is another beautiful card. And this is from Evie D. Piazza. And look, here's the square doily behind that. Doesn't that give a soft look? And then she's used a stencil to make the background. Feel better, friend. And then our next one is from Susan Morton. Uh, this is just a beautiful stamp set. So we have the hand pen paper and then we have the hand pen, we have the stamp set. And you see how they all just go together? I just think this is just a gorgeous set. And this is really interesting. This is a new die. That's Look cool. how she did the inside. Isn't that cool? 
and it folds like this. I'm not, a, isn't that cool? So I guess you could stand it up like that, but but, that, but that's cool. I always love things here's that are another, interesting. Here's another possibility. Hmm? You could do that too. You could do all kinds of things with this. Yes. By the way, this coming weekend is the Fun Folds class. The, 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 another one we're doing, um, Z cards galore, all kinds of, no, not just Z cards, double Z cards. So um, anyway, what you, what that was just pretty fun. I don't know, just a fun fold. It's not, it's not a Z or X. No, but I'm just, I'm just pointing that out, and it's only $15 to join us, so we have a great time. Next, we're on to the Pansy Petals, and this is Amy's story. Uh, you know, she's using this dye that uh, came out. It's continuing, but isn't that pretty how it just makes little background things? And this is a new dye that I'm loving, too. And look at those pansies. The pansies are going to be really popular. In fact, I think I have more pansy cards here than anything else. And I water our pansies that we bought for, for something. Okay. So, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did for those five gifts. I sent him to sort of get pansies. He still has to kind of want. Um, Liz Young. So another one. And look, we totally changed the colors. Now, these pansies are from the paper. So this is all just done with the paper. This one is done with the dyes. So I think this is really fun. But isn't that fun? It's just the two strips of paper. That's nice. Done like that. It's just really pretty. Oh, and then this part is the dye. So she's kind of combined things in there and then added the little words right there. I always have to peek at the inside, you know. Who, who's that from? Lise Young. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bunch of you love the pansy petals and pansies in general. And look at these striking colors. So here we have Blackberry Bliss and then the new Fresh Freesia. And this is Linda Bowen. And I think that's just really striking. And notice she put ribbon on, a little bit of ribbon, um, kind of like the effect of leaves, but without being leaves. But isn't that cool? The little things you do make such a big difference. And the new dies. Just a very striking card. Jean says her mamas always love pansies. You know, it's fun if you have family stories or people are gardeners and you make a card that goes with something that you have a history with. Isn't that fun? And even our own nostalgia. You know, if your mom loved pansies, it would make sense that pansies have a special place for you too. It's just kind of fun. Now, this is stamped. I'm trying to show some of the differences here. This one is again the paper and so are the leaves here from the paper and then all of this is the paper. So this whole thing is mostly the paper and this is Jan McClurg. That's really cool. I just think, you know, you just see all these side by side and they're so fun. And then the next two use the dies. So here we have the dies. I think what's fun about the dies too, I'll look at the other one. You got you change the colors of what you're using and you get totally different looks. I also cool. want to point out, if you see this punch, do you see the background is punch, just the same punch, but cut diagonally and then moved aside. So it looks layered, but you'll see the missing part there. Isn't that a cool way to accent your words? Okay, say that again. What's cut? What's different? Rebecca says she has, she has a confession. She has a 12 by 12 drawer stand that she puts to DSPs and it's leaning. She has so many, but tomorrow she's still going to order more. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, Patricia has pansy decor in her kitchen. That's wonderful. And thank you, Jean, for sharing. All of you who share it, that is the, just the nicest so thing you can I do for explain us. Explain that again, because I don't... Do you see how this punch is the same as this? Yep. This one's the bottom part's just oh, been I cut see. apart and pulled apart. Pulled that Isn't that a cool? An so it's just yeah. a cool technique. And then, because if this were just the white popped yep. up, it'd be pretty, but it wouldn't stand out as much. Yeah. This just goes like with the pansy. And this is new ribbon. So, so one time they were the same size. Yes, they started out the same size. That's really... Very cool. And then I have one more pansy card from Jill Olson. Now put this side by side because this is the other. This is also from the pansy dies. And that's cut out, that little squirrely mm. one. And you notice how she's just taken strips of cards. <laughs> put them cattywampus. I think it's squirrely. That's squirrely. Did I say squirrely? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's what I'm here for. Anyway, so these are the pansies and the pansies paper while you're looking at it. The, the DSP. Jill, she's not saying your, your card is squirrely. Karen, thank you for asking. She's asking about our, you know, we just put the link up for the card class that we're offering with the stamp set that Tim and I inspired for the million in sales. And that is like, I'll put that link up too. Um, right now, I think you're just reserving a spot. And then my VA, Holly, will 
send you something you can pay by by visa if you want to send a check that's fine too you'll just let her know i just um or let me know you know it's all good you know like i said it's all good and it's in the stamp set <laughs> so, i just mostly wanted to get it out there so that you uh were aware that if you want to get that stamp set autographed by us which i can hardly say with a straight face but we've had too many requests and then supplies to make five cards all the supplies to be cut and ready um, we have that up. So it's just $35, including the shipping. So it's a great deal. And I, so I really wanted to just get that up so you don't buy it as part of another order because it won't come autographed if you do it that way. <laughs> and so if that matters, you know, and Tim is looking forward to autographing. Someday these. our autographs are going to be worth something. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> in, in Tim's mind. <laughs> okay. This is from Quiet Meadow and there's just one from there, but it's the dyes. But isn't that pretty? And this is Margaret Van, Van Vliet. So I think it's really fun. It's got a lot of layers. I like that. Um, and so you really don't need to sign up for that until the end of the month. But we're kind of taking names now to get it, you know, just because there's so much going on. But we just want to make sure you get the things. We're going to on Tim's 72nd birthday, June 17th, is when we're going to have the live class. And we'll make, all make our cards together. Yes. Anyone can watch. It's going to be a regular Thursday live. But if you want the card kit and the autograph set, then you're going to want that. Cake and ice cream. Okay. Robin Carden. This is such a cute set. The Party Puffins. We had to throw in one cute little set. These are all the stamp sets that as demonstrators we could order early. So this is from a select number of sets. But I love that. And I love the hot pink. This is the new pink so and this black. Is new? Mm -hmm. huh. Isn't that cute? You've seen me making cards out of yeah. this. So it might not look yeah. anymore, new anymore. But I've been making a bunch of cards out of these. That's pretty cute. And then here is another one with this stamp set. And this is from Stella McKay. I'm going to put these side by side because I just think it's really helpful to see. Isn't that just fun? I love how she put the dots in the background. And he's just walking off and we've got the, the strip. This is from the pansy petals right there. I think that's just really fun. And I love the pink and the freesia. You know, those colors, kind of that purpley and that pink together. What makes this coat shine or it's got dots in it? Nope. It's just the way it was stamped. Huh. But, but I just think those are just adorable cards. Oh, good. Some of you signed up today for, to get the stamp step class. That's wonderful. We're excited about that. That will be really fun. Then we have one card from Elegantly Said. This is from Tammy Ackerson. And this is this really elegant piece right here. Um, Paisley? That is very... Well, kind elegant. of, but it is very... I have a couple of other just beautiful cards. I have cards now for the next four Mondays. So <laughs> we're just so lazy because I have so many cards. So I kind of do them. Uh, next week, I'm going to do the cards from the card swap from that my downline does. We're called the fine line. And I am going to put all of their cards on my blog so everyone can vote and we'll have some fun, fun things. And of course, it's an optional thing. But about 20 some people decide in the group to participate. So it's just another fun thing to do. And I also want to say that picking my favorite card tonight was really difficult because all of these are so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they are. And then I have lots more. So anyway, I'm excited because I have been sitting and looking at my cards. When I come up with card ideas, I love looking at actual cards. So I just think it is so fun. Instead of watching TV. Well, Carol, I'm glad you caught us live too. <laughs> Okay, there is a link. Um, I will put a link attached to this video when we're done about where to go for the hand stamp set. And uh, tomorrow I am ordering for the first round of paper embellishment ribbon chairs. You know, we do that with Holly. So if you are wanting to get them mailed to you, I'm overnighting them <laughs> to get them done so we can get them out in the mail before we leave for Hawaii. Uh, you can order them afterwards. They'll just come later after we get home. So anyway, these are really fun. This is color and contour. This one is Denise Jurgensen, and she and I were together on the advisory board. And Natalie Travis, and put these side by side. They're the same color background, but they're they're just stunning. But they have different colors on the flowers. Mm. Aren't these just beautiful? Yep, they are. I just love these dyes that are with them. And she's got the strips here and the little here for you. And they're just really. Pretty cards. Oh, more of you signed up. That is wonderful. <laughs> I like that saying, and I like the letters. Yeah, here for you. Yeah, that that's very, very nice words. 
And then we have from the same, oh, one more from that stamp set. Let's create together from Jennifer Cotton. And this is from the same stamp. And look how all these things just blend in with the papers. So I've been busy today working on projects for tomorrow and for Thursday's live to do it. So they're all gonna be using new products. So I've been just having fun playing with all these things and then trying to get ready for the weekend class also. And I'm trying to use as many new things for that as possible too. And then next we've got, okay, let's see, you picked one from that. So I'll save that one for last. Next is gonna be Flowers of Friendship. And this is a bundle that has a punch. This is April Lopez. And this one is Meg Lovin. Isn't this new green pretty? But I wanted to point these out. Do you see how these are both the punch? And both of these were stamped in tone on tone and punched out totally, totally different layouts. And I just think they're both just beautiful. And when you send it through the embossing machine, it turns it a different shade of green. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't. No, it does. This would be the new one. This must be mint macaron. I, you know, just but they're all just shades. We love our different shades of colors. So yes, Kathy, I agree. She says the hand pen stamp back in this other. A lot of this paper, paper in general, can just kind of make its own cards. So I think it's just, I just love getting new papers to play with. These are just really beautiful. And aren't those just fun? Three fun ones. Is that a new new? Um... I don't think it's a new one, but it really does add, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's just an it's really interesting. Nice look to that it's kind of flowery and then the last one oh, it was a short one tonight i think i must be going awfully fast you usually do i know <laughs> i know i'm going really fast becca says this catalog's gonna cost me yeah oh. that's great <laughs> Uh, okay, Marie, if you're trying to sign up for the make it happen class if you have any problem signing up just shoot me an email and i just forward it to to Holly and she she takes care of all, all that kind of stuff, <laughs> which is wonderful. Look at how fun this is. Is this beautiful? And this is, this is the beauty of the earth. You know, any nature stamps we can just do. This is Laura Bartow. And this is just really interesting how she's used this paper and, oh, this is not, this is not, this is the other one that has the trees in a row. Okay, you're gonna have to look for this. This is a whole different dye thing. So how about that? It is not Beauty of the Earth, but it's another one. But isn't that just stunning? It is. And I think you look at a card like this and you could make a set of four seasons. Now, Tim's sister, Mary Burks, who's, also, who's a demonstrator out in Oakland, California, Pittsburgh, actually. Um, when she went to Norway the last time, I always remember that, she took one of our tree sets and she made a folder with four season cards. And I thought, uh, for everyone that she stayed with. And I thought, isn't that awesome? Because she went to visit family. But I thought, isn't that a, a great idea as a gift to do like four seasons on anything with nature? And the time before she took her brother. Yeah. So I think that's just pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, now we're on to beauty of the earth. <laughs> okay. And so this one is Sandy Rule. This is such interesting paper. Do you see all this kind of trees? And here we have another of the square doilies. And I was looking at these cards today and thinking, I haven't taken my square doilies out for a long time and used them. And now I'm seeing them on a few of these new cards, and I just love it. They're a real vellum look. And I think, anyway, so that's just really fun. And then I love this card. This is Leanne Graff. Um. June, my all goods, so my all goods card club for May is, is all double Z folds. June, it's going to be about all kinds of ways to use vellum. But I just want to point out this one. Do you see how that gives a soft look? And now the words are on the vellum, which has been wrapped around. This tree is popped up over. So all just has this interesting, and notice how she's got the trees behind here too. So we have all, so we have three layers of trees and then some vellum. Isn't that fun? Very nice. And uh, is that? That's cut out, and those are stamped. Yeah, this is die cut. Is that stamped with the same stamp? I think it uh, could so be stamped so with lighter. this color. So there are two. these are the two new greens. And they, so this looks really dark. I think it's really cool because if I see a tree trunk like this, I immediately think brown. And this is just beautiful. This is in the everlasting evening or whatever it is. It's really a dark. It's really like an evergreen green. And then this is the soft succulent green. And just look how well they pair together. So we have the two colors. So I think that's just beautiful. And then the last one I have to show 
is we are getting so many questions about the autograph stamp set from us. Well, you guys just, you, you've made Tim's day. Yes, what can I yes. say? He loves nothing more. Um, I will put a link up here right afterwards. It is, if you go to karentitus.com, my, my uh, uh, website, uh, it, it's one of the last like two blog posts, so you can't miss it either. But I'll also put a link to it. So, so we're thrilled about that because we hope a whole bunch of you party with us for that. And here's another one that I wanted to point out here. This one is by... Tammy White. And I just wanted to know, to show how, look how these both are using layering, but in totally different ways. Here, the tree has been layered, you know, over this, and then this middle part popped up. But there, you know, it's just, you take one simple concept like layering, and you can just do amazing things with it. Trees, I agree. Cindy said she loves everything trees. And I agree that, um, you know, in nature cards, I always think they're perfect for masculine cards, sympathy cards, just all occasion cards, you just can never have too many trees. Okay. Now, I just have to comment again on Laura's because this is what captivates me is just bright and bold. And so, what, and I, you know, what this makes me think of was all those red trees that are out there blossoming now that are just, yep. it's just so beautiful. It could be a dark red, it could be a fall look too, but I'm just thinking spring, those pink blossom trees. And what I picked was Jody Reinhardt. And look, okay, and there we have the fall trees. Reiner. We have the spring and the fall. Yeah, no, Isn't that fun? But again, it's intense and it's it just jumps out. And this is, again, designer series paper. So it's just cut out from there and put on there. So just a very fun. Now, I need, I need to say that Franken, Frankenmuth, Michigan. I've never heard of that before. Okay, so we just want to thank you guys for spending this time. Hope you join us tomorrow. We'll be right here. We'll be on both Facebook and YouTube at 10, all central time, 1 and 6.30, showing some new things, doing some drawings. And um, 7.15, the tightest Zoom. Feel free to call me tonight if you have questions or call me tomorrow. And let me know if you have any questions. There's just so much going on this week. So I just know it's hard to... It's just hard to cover it all. So if you missed anything, just let me know. But I'll put up links to the things we talked about. And thanks, you guys, who shared. And thanks to all of you. We love you. See, We'll see you tomorrow at 10. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.